Hello everybody, my name is Isis Daniel and I am the Millennial Psalm. And today we're taking a step away from wine and really just recapping my weekend. It was a crazy. Yeah, so my birthday, I turned 25, I went skydiving, hit up a couple um, bars in DC. Um, so yeah, it was just like a 100% wonderful experience. I want to take the time to thank any and everyone who um, wished me a wonderful birthday. Definitely was a success. Um, I typically get very anxious around my birthday. In the past, I've dealt with a lot of BS, if you will. And um, it took a you know, a lot of support from my friends and family to, you know, kind of get me in the mood and ready to celebrate my 25th birthday. I mean, it was, this is like, you know, a, mon a monumental age, you know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of my family, they were just like, we don't want you to not enjoy it because of past experiences. So I went the extreme route. My One of my best friends bought me a skydiving um, ticket and so yeah I jumped out of the sky <sighs> it was amazing so I will be attaching this video of me skydiving here but y'all I just want to give you guys a heads up it was crazy so I wasn't nervous at all at all until it I went and had to actually sign the waivers. Now the waivers, you know, it's saying pretty much if I die, it's on me and not on the company. So like when you are signing away your life like that, you're just like, oh my God, I'm about to jump out of a plane. There's a chance it might not go well. Now, most, it usually turns out all right. So that's why people go ahead and do it. However, that was like the moment where I started to realize I'm really making this decision and what if I don't make it, right? But did it anyway. I was really nervous, waiting for them to, you know, actually call my name. I had like a VIP ticket, so I was one of the first people to get on the plane that day, um, or at least in that time slot. Um, so that was a good thing because I can't imagine I was so ner I was getting so nervous after I signed the waiver um, that if I had to wait a couple rounds of people to go, I don't know if I would have followed through. So I'm happy I had the VIP ticket. But then once I got on the plane, it was like all of my nerves just went away. I felt so calm that it was a little alarming only slightly alarming like I kind of as nervous as I was and my adrenaline was pumping and I was like ah oh, to kind of go to a different state where you are breathing and you're just like I'm ready to do this I'm looking forward to doing this I can't wait to like jump out of a plane like it was like that it was weird and so I have like this guy who's attached to me and I'm like all right banana so banana is a phrase that they said there when you first jump out of the plane you have a man back behind you <laughs> you need to put your head back either to the left or to the right depending on the guy's preference my guy wanted my head to the left so you have to put your head to the back and then you kind of just curb your body like a banana with your feet pushed um back behind you as much as possible and um that's what you're supposed that's like kind of like how you're supposed to have your body when you are first falling free falling down right so i'm like banana don't forget banana 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 right once it's time for us to kind of jump off of the plane that's when i'm like all right we're doing this we're doing this okay the guy's like talking to me and he's telling me you know but do this, do that, reminding me how important, you know, do banana, right? And then, like, he's really in control. I'm pretty much, like, out of the plane because he's right behind me and I'm, like, sitting on the thing but dangling with my feet in the air. And he jumps. 
And then that's when everything kind of goes crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was free falling in the sky. There was this moment where I was like, yo, I am falling out of the sky. And then it's like wind. <laughs> okay the wind is ridiculous it was so much wind as I, we were free falling that i could not breathe and i was trying to breathe out of my mouth so when you guys see the video you will know what i'm talking about when i say i was trying to breathe out my mouth that's why i looked the way that i was looking so do not judge me i was falling from the sky and i could not breathe but then after that whole situation you will know what i'm talking about when you see the video after that situation was when you know the parachute came out and then i'm just you know kind of just coasting and it was a beautiful experience and i would 100 percent do it again I would definitely go skydiving again, all for that one experience when you are coasting and you're looking at God's great creation, all the land, and it's just it's just beautiful from up there. It's beautiful. Land is safely. It was awesome. It was awesome, okay? So I highly recommend anyone who's kind of thinking about skydiving, do it. If you are afraid of heights, there was one girl who's deathly afraid of heights, but she goes skydiving. Don't ask me. That's what she said. <laughs> and so if you're scared, there are other people who are scared who also go skydiving. I just believe in facing your fears. And also, if that's not a fear, go out and just do what you want to do. I was not afraid to go skydiving. It wasn't even like a bucket list thing. Um, my friend said, you want to go skydiving as a joke? And I said yes. And then she took my yes seriously and bought me a ticket. And then it happened. So, boom. Right? So please go skydiving if you're interested. Shout out to DC Skydiving Center. That's um, who I went with. Highly recommend. Everyone was super nice, super chill. You know, they want to make sure that you understand fully in what you're doing and how to make your jump the most successful. And yeah, so I recommend them. They were awesome if you're in the DMV area, right? Then the next day on Saturday, went to a few bars. So I just want to shout out all the places I went because I had an awesome time. And maybe I'll add some um, pictures of me and my girls when we went out, but awesome time. First, we hit up Ocean Prime in DC. Great, it's a beautiful place. Atmosphere is so sexy. It's so sexy there. Um, we had their oysters, wine selection is awesome, happy hour, popping, uh, the Oyster Rockefeller, it was so good, okay? So yeah, the Oyster Rockefeller I think was probably my favorite uh, dish there. They also had oysters on a half shell that I was tearing up. Um, but yeah, so I would highly recommend that. They had a crab dip. The crab dip was good, but it wasn't really all that to me. It had like corn in it. That was a little weird, but I mean, it was still good, right? Yeah. And I think we have something else, but right now all I can think about was that Oyster Rockefeller. It was amazing. Then we ended up going to the Hamilton. So I love the Hamilton. That is one of my spots. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, we went there, had some great cocktails. I re highly recommend Hamilton um, because they have like great happy hour. Uh, if you love sushi, they have awesome sushi. But again, their cocktails are amazing there. So if you're interested, go there. That's just my spot. And then we end up going to Chaplin's. <sighs> okay. And that's kind of where our night got hazy. <laughs> so yeah definitely chaplains for their uh, cocktails their cocktails are out of this world but again um their food too so we went we had some dumplings so we had these shrimp dumplings and um pork dumplings and then i i drunk ices had <laughs> um what is it called their ramen their ramen is really good i added like this little spicy sauce to it, it was banging hit every spot every single spot but that's pretty much all that I did 
for that on, on those two days. I think I said Saturday. We actually did all this on a Friday. But it was a fantastic birthday. Chilled. On, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. There was like a fly that came at me. Like, it was like, you would invite me. Like, that's what just happened. Get it together. Get it together. But anyway, so yes. So we had a great time. I recommend all the spots that I went to. If you are in the DMV area, go to these spots because the drinks were amazing and food's amazing. Huh. It was great. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I want to talk to you guys about. My birthday. Had tons of fun. Now we are getting ready to get into the video that you guys have been waiting for. Get your popcorn, but don't eat too much because you're probably going to choke when you see the video. It's that funny. It's that funny. All right. So I love you guys. Thank you again for wishing me a wonderful birthday. Thank you for the love and support that you've been showing me thus far. We have a lot, you know, still coming for you and all that jazz. But thank you again. Love you. Bye. Enjoy the video. Oh, you're in the she skydiving center with wave. Hi, sis. It's your first time jumping? It is my first time. You're crazy. Do you know what to do? <sighs> yeah, banana. Jump out, look good, and have fun. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Let's go do it.
Alright, we're back in the garden here to see Scott Anson. What do you think? I think I'm in love. Oh. I want to, I need to do it. I get that a lot. <laughs> no, I had a great time. Now, I will say, when we first dropped, I didn't know what the hell was going on. And I was like, I hope I'm doing everything right so far. You were great. So hopefully we'll see you back soon. Yes!